Whoa! <laughs> Yes, that's right, I got to try a pair of haptic gloves with the Oculus Quest that let you physically feel and hold objects by restricting your fingers movement in virtual reality. As you may know, I am a big fan of haptic technology. Over the years I tried many suits, gloves, simulators, gun stocks and so much more. I know, pretty next level all around. But in this particular video, I am going to tell you all about the newest gloves on the market, made by a Dutch company called SenseGlove. I will be showing you what those are uh, capable of, we dive into the specs, price, setup and what headsets these work with, plus we hop into a demo to try them out. And at the end, I will give my final thoughts of course, so it's going to be a jam-packed video. With that being said though, let's uh, jump right into the metaphors and uh, have some fun. Let's go! So yeah, I had the pleasure to uh, visit the office of Sense Glove that is located in the Netherlands. And uh, what they do is make gloves that are built from the ground up for VR and that let you experience a sense of presence that will blow your mind. Their gloves can do force feedback, haptic feedback and motion capturing as well. The market they target are mainly enterprise type businesses for now that focus on virtual trainings, simulations and research. But the ongoing success of Sense Glove has brought them closer to a potential product that can also be used and bought by consumers. Back in 2015 they invented their so-called uh, development kit one that you uh, see me try here. It's a wearable but still wired exoskeleton that they use to lay the foundation of how haptic gloves are going to become a virtual reality. Now in 2021 they are ready for the next uh, step. So may I introduce you to the Sense Glove Nova, a Ready Player One-esque uh, haptic glove that is completely wireless and works with PC and standalone headsets, such as the Oculus Quest 2, Pico Neo and the Vive Focus. Its design reminds me of Star Trek, Iron Man and the Power Gloves from Nintendo. Now the price of these bad boys is 5000 in dollars, translating into 4500 in euros. And that might sound expensive, but these are actually one of the cheapest on the market right now. Plus what you get in return are limitless possibilities. The Nova gloves let you feel the shape, size and density of virtual objects, forcing you to interact with them like you would do in real life. It's valuable tech that can be used for so many great causes. Anyways, let me tell you some more about the Nova's setup. It's very interesting. The way you connect these uh, gloves to your headset is super simple. You turn on the gloves, put on your HMD and inside the menu you pair it with Bluetooth. Since haptic gloves are not mainstream yet, there aren't any games, experiences or apps supporting this tech. So you will have to download the provided demo from SenseGlove or create something yourself with their available SDK that works with Unity and Unreal. When you make your choice, you can uh, put on the gloves and slide the controllers into the holders that are attached uh, to the top. These take care of the tracking so you can freely use and move your hands within VR. Depending on the headset you want to use, you can change the holders to match the desired controllers or trackers. For example, with uh, the Valve Index, you have to use the Steam VR tracking box. Well, with the Quest, you have to use the touch controllers. The Pico Neo, on the other hand, doesn't use any of that. It can connect straight to the gloves without needing an external device on the outside. The gloves itself are uh, easy to put on, by the way. Sense Glove made sure they offer different sizes, so everyone can use them. For extra support, they added two straps on the palm side that can be adjusted to your own preference as well. Since everything is getting 3D printed in-house, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I thought it was actually quite comfy, even with that huge controller on top of my hands. It's also handy to know that they can be thrown into the washing machine whenever you uh, you want. Now for the experience itself, Sense Glove let me try their spaceship demo. It's pretty much a showcase of what the Nova gloves can make you do and feel. So this will give you a good idea of what you can expect. To get started, I had to uh, first of all calibrate my hands, a simple process that didn't take uh, long at all. All I had to do was mimic certain hand gestures in front of me and let it calculate the position of my fingers and hands. It's impressive how fast the software can adapt to your own size. With that out of the way, I was ready for the introduction. To see if the calibration was done correctly, I put my hands to the test. And as you can see, I could move my fingers uh, individually, make a fist, do a thumbs up, pinch, 
or even clap. After that I started to follow the instructions on the screen by simply tapping it. It told me to grab a random data card that I had to place inside a reader. It was super strange to feel my fingers getting restricted by the motors built within the gloves to give me the sensation I was actually holding it in my real hands. To me there was no question about it not being between my fingers, it was just immersion overload. Next up was cleaning my virtual desk. I had to grab the red matter and uh, throw it in the bin. Funny coincidence as a real trash can was placed at the exact same location making me and the devs uh, giggle. Then it asked me to uh, plug a power cable into a lamp located on my right. My gloves automatically adapted to its shape, mass and simulated its size. Something you slowly start to forget about since you are so immersed. Then suddenly I heard a big explosion, apparently uh, I broke something at the space station and had to now repair it. The game gave me a drill that I had to use to screw open some sort of mysterious box and while using it I could feel the handle and the fact it was spinning. When I opened the casing I found out that one of the fuses actually exploded and had to be replaced. While doing so I could feel the electrical energy coming off the other two giving me a sense of real danger. I put the new fuse in and to be the daredevil in the room I decided to touch them and yes I can confirm that you feel a little shock in the form of haptics. I didn't die, lucky me, but it does feel like you are doing it in real life. After that I had to grab the blowtorch and uh, weld it so it wouldn't blow up again, thank god. So yeah just for a moment look at how far and how accurate I could pull its trigger with my finger. Amazing, right? I could also feel the gas pressure building up internally. This is a great example of why force and haptic feedback should be used together. It's so important because it gives you more control over what you do. Something you would never be able to reach with regular hand tracking. The final task the computer gave me was uh, break the defective coil and this took me a few attempts as it needed a serious amount of, uh, of force. Watch. Whoa! <laughs> And with that, the demo was over. I got to mess around a little more with uh, the physics by shooting away broken glass shards into space, squeeze a stress ball and throw and catch uh, things in zero gravity. So how can the Nova Gloves do all of this? How does it work? Well, they make use out of magnetic brakes that are connected to a pulley that holds two fish wires. And those, those are attached to your finger and fingertips. The moment it detects a collision in the VR environment, it triggers the brake and stop your fingers from moving any further. I don't think I talked about this but there is no possible way you can destroy these gloves. The strings that are connected to your fingers are so strong that it's impossible to snap them. Trust me, you can't. I tried, didn't work out in the end. So the way these gloves are able to simulate the density, size and shape is a true game changer. This makes you wish you could use them in video games like Half-Life Alex and social applications such as VRChat. Sadly, it's too early for that right now, but as you can see, we're getting there. The Novas uh, give us a glimpse of how this is going to change the way we will interact with the virtual world around us in the future. The fact it's wireless and works already with uh, standalone headsets is a huge leap forward. I'm so happy that companies like SenseGlove, TeslaSuit, Dexter Robotics, Haptax and many other companies are continuing to make this mainstream. If you are interested in learning more about the Nova Gloves or want to get a pair yourself then check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Thank you so much uh, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to slam that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, then maybe do so. Because I will be uploading many more videos about all of this kind of like haptic stuff. So yeah, with that being said, until next time and bye-bye uh, for now. See you in the Metaverse.